Hey, Swan. Hey, Swan. Hi, Swan. Swan. <laughs> hey, Swan. Hey, Swan. Hey, Swan. Hey, guys. And welcome to this week's episode of Swan. First up, we've got Question of the Week with Josh. Hey, I'm Josh, and today we're going to be getting Question of the Week. What's your favorite warm weather activity? Uh, you know, my favorite character from Dora the Explorer is Boots. So I love the monkey bars at the playground. It's my favorite uh, warm weather activity. I like to kayak in warm weather. <laughs> Man camp. Um, going swimming and to the beach. Horseback riding. Staying inside, definitely. I would have to say hiking because it's nice out, the warm weather. and Going swimming. Now, here's the weather with me. Hey guys, I'm at Mahadio and I'm here with the weather. And we're going to start Monday. It's going to be rainy with a high of 57 and a low of 43. And then Tuesday, it's going to be raining again with a high of 59 and a low of 45. And then Wednesday, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 58 and a low of 47. And then Thursday, it's going to be rainy again with a high of 60 and a low of 48. And then Friday, you love Friday, I love Friday, everybody loves Friday, you know it, I know it. And it's gonna be rainy though with a high of 62 and a low of 46. I like sliding, so I'm gonna go keep doing that. Peace out guys. Here, we are an exclusive interview with Miss Smith. What's going on, Tumbrook? My name is Walshie and I am here with Miss Smith. Hi. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, her teaching. Um, so, um, what field of teaching are you in? Uh, science. I teach science. All different subjects of science. Cool. Um, and what got you sort of interested in doing that? Uh, well, I was primarily a research scientist, but that can kind of fluctuate with projects and getting grants and funding, and so it was a little too inconsistent. I have three kids, so I needed something, and I really love working with students. I found I was in a lab by myself all the time, and it doesn't really work for my personality. Awesome, awesome. And um, where did you start teaching? So I started teaching in South Carolina, and I taught down there for a few years. And I'm going on my seventh year of teaching in New England. Awesome, awesome. Um, you were recently named the Summersworth Educator of the Year. Um, congrats on, on that, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, and what does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I was really surprised by it. There is a lot of really awesome teachers in this district. So to be honest, when I got the letter in the mail, I told my husband, I was like, get a load of this. I <laughs> thought it was a joke. And so that sounds silly. But I just don't view myself that way. I, I love teaching and I love working with students. And I have some days that I leave here and I think that it was a good day. But also the opposite's true. There's some days I leave here and I'm like, huh, I could have done way better than that or you want to make improvements, but I think that is just how teaching goes in general. So I was pretty shocked by it, and it was a real honor. That's awesome. Okay, and one last thing. Um, for anybody, any student um, looking to sort of go into teaching, you know, what are some key points of advice that you'd have for them? I think probably the, the best advice I got is to know your audience. And so you can love science, you can know it in and out, but you also want to be able to read people and understand situations. And sometimes, you know, a lesson or class is not going to go exactly as planned because things are happening, you know, in life. And we also have to really spend time making sure that we're all doing okay and that your classroom is an environment of respect. It's so important to me. So those things are always, you know, key components during the day in any class. And I think when I started teaching, I put way too much emphasis on the structure of every lesson and not having any flex room. And I found that building that in and making sure that the students are, you know, okay and ready and all of their needs that I can help them with are being taken care of and then get into the class, you end up covering the same amount of content anyways. Um, so definitely do it. I love teaching. I couldn't be any happier. Awesome. Thanks, Colby. Um, thank you for, for talking with me today. Yeah, um, no problem. And now we go back to Bryce and Matt. Next up, we've got sports with Walshy. What's going on, Summersworth? My name is Walshy, and today I'm bringing you this week's sports. Monday, today, 
baseball and softball of a home game versus newfound. Make sure to be there. Now, here are your SHS announcements. First, we would like to congratulate Mrs. Smith for being named Children's Educator of the Year. Any seniors in interested in scholarship information should see Ms. Lucer in guidance. Have you heard that Planet Fitness is letting teenagers 15 to 18 work out for free all summer? And last but not least, you may have noticed that there are missing person flyers around school. Anyone with information regarding Adam Camarado, call the number on the flyer, or see Mr. Jacobson, Mr. Shea, or Kaylin Camarado. Bye, Bye guys. guys. And we'll see you next week on, on Swen. Swen.